tonight we're learning more about the woman police say led officers on this chase that ended with the woman driving into a pond and driving into that pond that, that ended up killing her five-year-old daughter was inside the car and uncle just confirmed this is the child who lost her life just within the past 90 minutes, we learned about the legal issues Pamela Cabrera has faced in the past couple years. She did not appear in court today because the bailiff said she unraveled and was being disruptive. News for Jack's reporter Ann Maxwell is looking into the sheriff's office protocol when chasing a suspect. But we begin with Marilyn Parker. Marilyn, you've been dissecting Cabrera's court documents. So we found an affidavit filed by Pamela Cabrera's mother in 2020, and she says her daughter suffers from schizophrenia and a bipolar disorder. We want to show you that photo again that was included in that affidavit of Cabrera and her daughter, who was four years old at the time. That's Vanity Cabrera. Again, News for Jax just confirmed with a family member that this is the little girl who died last night following that 30 mile chase throughout Duval County on the north side. That affidavit also says that Cabrera lost custody of her daughter in April of 2020. Police say Pamela Cabrera led them on a 30 mile chase last night that ended with a five year old girl dead. Cabrera is facing several charges, and this isn't her first encounter with police. One report explains how Cabrera had three battery charges in September 2020 after punching three people she did not know. While in jail in November 2020, she was escorted out of her cell after exhibiting self-harming behavior when she spit on and hit a nurse working at the jail. All of these charges were dropped. An order from January 2021 adjudicating Cabrera says she was charged with a felony, deemed mentally ill and incompetent to process. The order reads, in the near future, she will inflict serious bodily harm on herself or another person. She was sent to the Department of Children and Families the same month. Then in March of 2021, DCF says she no longer met the criteria and they took her back to jail in April. A month later, she was released to the custody of her mother or another relative. Hello, my name is Marilyn Parker. I'm a reporter with News for Jax. They weren't ready to speak and said they're still processing everything. We asked if they could confirm the relationship between Cabrera and the five-year-old, but they didn't want to answer. An affidavit filed by Cabrera's mother says she has a daughter who Cabrera lost custody of in 2020. It included a picture her mother gave the court. Cabrera wasn't at her first appearance today after the bailiff told the judge she unraveled and was being disruptive. The judge set her bond at $2.2 million. And we just want to clarify again, News for Jax just got confirmation from the family that that is the five year old girl who died after that chase last night. Police also told us that there was a knife that was involved in that kidnapping. But when we got the report from JSO, they did not include when or where this kidnapping happened and they didn't mention anything about a knife. So there's still some details we're trying to learn about from there. The judge set Cabrera's arraignment date for April 21st. We're live at JSO, Maryland Parker, Channel 4, the local station.